by the dip. Guys, this is more than a t-shirt, it's a lifestyle. Today we are looking at Bitcoin. As you guys can see, this is a channel that we have been watching and it's currently at the top of this channel. So remember we had, we drew this channel here and you could see we got the perfect bounce right there from the bottom of the channel that we were watching. Now, why is that familiar? Because if we go back down here, and we look at this channel that we were watching recently, last week, we got the same exact bounce. Look at this bounce, look at this one. Now look at me. Now look back at this bounce, and now look back at this one, then look at me. It's the same bounce. So what happened last time that that happened, we went up to the top of the channel, and then we took off, right? And guess what? What's happening right now? We are at the top of this channel, so does this mean that this weekend we are getting ready for takeoff? Stay tuned, guys. Hey, what's up? Jay here, and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, smash that like button, and turn on the notification bell so that you know every time we post new videos. So Bitcoin has had a pretty boring week, right? We've just kind of been in this channel kind of slowly grinding down however if you look at the actual move it is still a bull flag if you look at what a bull flag is as you guys can see right here this is exactly what it is and now if we look at the chart that's exactly what we're looking at so um let's go over the trades that we gave you guys on monday remember monday we couldn't upload a video on youtube but we still did post up a video up on our instagram account which we did give you guys some trade setups so the trade setups that we gave you the first one for bitcoin the one that hit for bitcoin was a the fifty seven thousand dollar pullback entry right so as you guys can see, uh, we tested below 57,000. So that next entry would have been 55, but we didn't go low enough to catch the 55. As you guys can see, the lowest we want was around 55.5. So we didn't catch that because it basically would have had to break this in order to continue down. Now we didn't set up any orders here. We just wanted to see a bounce back up and we entered basically right around here, this range right here, which is more or less in the middle of the channel. And we're able to ride that up to about the top of this channel right here, which is around 58,000, almost 59,000. So that would have been around a 33% profit on that trade if you use 10X leverage like we did. The next trade that we had was in Ethereum. We told you guys that we were looking, if there was a pullback, we wanted entries back at that 2k area which is wow that's a terrible arrow there we go so 2000 was uh that pullback entry we were looking for as you guys can see we definitely went under that and we we went below that we went about as low as 1930 so that that's pretty crazy 1960 1950 would have also been a pretty good entry but we were able to use that 2k number as the entry and uh, write it up a bit here to 2100 level so if you guys used uh 5x leverage like we did on this one you would have done around 25 percent profits Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. As you guys can see, basically what's happened over the week, uh, just a whole lot of consolidation here after we went back up to that 60K range. As you guys can see, we got denied and denied, right? So we've gotten pushed back down. We've continued to get denied there at $60,000 which put us back in consolidation here and now we're trying we've tested the bottom of this channel one two three times now and now we're testing we've also tested the top of the channel one two three times now so we're due for a break and it looks like we're pushing up um i would say probably around 59 above 59k is gonna be that possible break if we break above that we should 
once again test 60k here and hopefully break it right so we've been struggling there if we zoom out a bit to the daily you will see what i'm looking at right here so this is this is what i see right here you have this flat top right here right um we've been rejected multiple times at this point so let me make that red right now let me change uh back to green and we've been rejected here multiple times we were also rejected actually it's been all of this right all of that rejection there and we've continue to get rejected up here however you can see that we have this trend up right so let's change those into red so what is this what does this pattern mean this is basically we, we've got support down there we've had support here so we've been trending in the right way we've been trending up it's been ascending and then we have a flat top up here that's been basically what's been rejecting us all right so if you look at the flat top right if you look right here this is basically a flat top uh, chart pattern right here, right? And you will see here that it's a ascending triangle. These are formed by a flat top or equal highs and higher lows. This triangle is a bullish pattern that can be a continuation in, a, in an up move or reversal at support on a down move. So this is a bullish pattern here, guys. So now how do you trade a flat top, right? For a flat top, usually you want to buy the first candle that breaks the flat top, as you guys can see in this illustration here. So where would that be? You would, that would be on top of where we've been rejected. So we've continued to get rejected there at 60K. So the flat top breakout is going to be beyond 60K. So on a move beyond 60K, that's going to be the breakout of the flat top. That should lead us back up to the top. With that move, I believe we should definitely break this previous all time high and it could shoot us to my target, which is that $70,000 level. Now, remember, I got this level by um, measuring the pull, the impulse move of the previous move here, which put us in this uh, bull flag. But there's been ever since that, there's been another move up, which now has us in a new bull flag. So taking that into consideration and then taking the flat top chart pattern into consideration, how do you trade flat top patterns? So we already told you, you're going to buy on the break of the first candle, right? But how do I know what the price target is on a break of the first candle? So again, if you, if you look at this right here, you will see that the target is usually the bottom of the range plus the top of the range, which would be what makes the flat top, right? So if I were to measure the bottom here of this pattern, right? I'm gonna put start, start at the bottom all the way to the top, which is more or less around here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's around that 60K range. Then I grab this and put it where the potential breakout may occur. Let's say, uh, for example, if it were to break out here, this would be on the 11th. So this would be in two days. This now gives us a target, a price target of just under $70,000. It's at, I believe it's around 69,007 to $69,800. So this gives us a new target. Remember the last target that I had, uh, it gave us a target of around 71 to $72,000. Now this one gives us a target of about 69 and a half, more or less. So if you average those two out, that gives us a target of $70,000. So basically here, we're just waiting on that breakout. Once the breakout comes, which is of course inevitable, then we should be seeing these levels of around $70,000. That's going to be, and that remains our bullish target for April. In Ethereum, we're seeing a lot of the same. Remember that Ethereum more or less follows Bitcoin. It's not gonna be to the T, but more or less, right? Now, what we see here, it's less, it's actually held up a lot stronger than Bitcoin. And why would that be, right? It's moved a little bit more than what Bitcoin moved and it's held up pretty good. We're, we're still right around, we're still above uh, 2000. We're almost at the previous highs that we just hit um, a few days ago, really, uh, which was around 2150. And the reason why that that's it's held up so strong, because if you look here, the Bitcoin dom, this is a Bitcoin dominance chart. It's been falling, right? So what does that mean when Bitcoin dominance falls? So if Bitcoin dominance is falling, but the market cap is growing, 
that means that money's coming in, but it's going to altcoins, right? So what's the leader of all altcoins? The leader of all altcoins is Ethereum. It's the second uh, coin in crypto by market cap, and it's the first altcoin. So it is the leader of all altcoins. So if you look here, this is a similar pattern. We have basically an impulse move up, and then we have this channel here that it's been basically trading on. And what is that? That's a bull flag, right? So we have the bull flag here. So remember, our target from the last uh, move up to this consolidation period, which created this bull flag, our target on that breakout was, what was it, Twenty around 2200. So this was our target. We almost made it up to there. We didn't get all the way up to that target, but we got up to, to 2150. So we missed that target by about 50 to 100 dollars because that target was pretty much around 22 to 2250, right? So we missed it by 50 to 100 dollars, and we're still we're going to get there. But just like we did previously, with the new information that we have uh, now, remember we made that uh, that guess, that prediction with more limited information. When we made that prediction, we were here. This is where we were with that prediction, right? Now we have more information. Another week has passed, so we have a lot more information. So now that this new pattern has formed, this new bull flag, we can again measure, take another measurement, and and get a new price target depending where this breaks out. So let's go ahead and pull our uh, trend line back out and let's let's measure this. So let's say that the breakout, um, that the, the low of it was around here, which is around 1770. And let's move that all the way up to the top, which is right around that 2150. Now we can grab this measurement and let's say uh, that we also think that this will break out on the 11th, let's say on the 10th, right? Tomorrow, let's say that we get the breakout tomorrow on a Saturday. Now we have a new target. And what's what's that target? This target, it's right around 2478, close enough to say 2500. So guys, we have a new target now for Ethereum on the next breakout here. And that target is now twenty five hundred dollars. All right, you guys. So so far, um, we have covered the recap of the week from the trade setups that we gave you guys. We have done an analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we've given you guys basically some new predictions uh, going forward, depending on what the price does. So next, we're going to give you guys the trade setups that we're going to be watching this weekend to make some profits. Now, remember, in order for Bitcoin and Ethereum to hit these targets, you guys have to like this video. If you guys do not subscribe to the channel and like the video, you're basically telling me and Bitcoin that you don't believe what we're saying. and You don't believe that we're going to get there. So that's pretty much what you're saying. So Bitcoin won't do it. If you guys believe as much as I do in Bitcoin and you believe that we will hit these price targets and you like and subscribe, as long as enough of you do it, it's going to show Bitcoin that we're serious and that that we really believe in it. So it's kind of like the Christmas spirit. The more you believe in it, the more real it becomes. Right. So, guys, believe in these predictions, believe in Bitcoin and we're going to hit new all time highs. Alrighty guys, so the first uh, thing we're looking at is Bitcoin. Now this first entry that we're going to be watching is right around that 58,500 level, which we're at right now. So above 58,500, we still have, you see there's been a few fake outs, but I still believe that 58,500 is a very important level here. And you can see, you can see the role that it's played here, the role it's played here. Uh, it's been resistance here, it's been support and resistance there, and now again a resistance here. So although there are fake outs, eventually that break is coming. Once this break comes, it's probably gonna lead us to the top of this flat top pattern that we're in, which will be $60,000. So that is the first trade that we're watching. We want a break here to lead us all the way up to retest that 60K level. Um, and of course, it's only a matter of time before we break 60K. And like we just showed you guys, a break of 60K could possibly lead us not only to the previous all time highs, but beyond those all time highs and up to our new target of around $70,000. So those are the next two breakout trades that we're looking to take. We're looking to take both 
a breakout trade at $60,000 and a breakout trade above $62,000. Now, of course, just like Monday, we have to be prepared for the event where we see a scenario where the price where we get rejected up here and the price gets knocked down. So the first level that we're going to be watching here is back at that $57,000. Why? Because if you see this and you see its trajectory, basically, it aligns with this ascending triangle that we've been uh, looking at here, this ascending support, right? And it's going to be right around this level, probably where, where it drops to, right? So you see here, there's also a Fibonacci level as well. We have this level, level right here, which has played a pretty big role here as far as support and resistance. So that 57K level is that first support entry that we're going to be watching. If we were to break beyond that, then we're looking at this channel here. So remember, we're, we would still be in that channel and it will continue down something like that. That So that next level will probably be right around that 55K range could possibly even maybe go as low as 54,800. And that's the bottom of this range right here. That would be also this Fibonacci level here, right? Which is that next support right here. And not only that, but if we look back, if we look at the CME charts here uh, for the Bitcoin futures, what do we see here? This is a gap, right? So this is the CME gap, and that's right around that 54,500-ish uh, level, right? So that could be another possible scenario where Bitcoin fills the gap. Now, it doesn't have to, but sometimes it does. So those are just things to keep in mind. So in that event, the entry that I will be looking for on the pullback that deep would be $55,000. Now, in Ethereum, uh, the main thing that we're watching right now is a break basically above this channel right here, right? And that level is $2,100. So we want to see a break of $2,100, which can lead us back to the previous all-time highs of $2,150 and beyond to our new target well first of all our old target of 2250 and then to our new target of 2475 or 2500 right so we're going to be playing that 2100 level we're also going to be playing above the previous all-time high which is 2150 and then we're going we're going to have a breakout uh, entry above 2200 so we're, for this one we're setting up breakout entries every 50 dollars basically in the event of a pullback, uh, we could be looking at 2000 again as a bounce entry there. And again, remember, we don't want to enter on the way down. We want to enter on the way back up. So that's why I call it a bounce entry. Beyond that, then we could be looking at around that 1950 area, which would be around the bottom of that channel. And if we were to go beyond that, then 1800 is that next level, which is right here on that Fibonacci support level. So that's pretty much it, guys. We covered everything that we wanted to cover today. I hope you guys have had a good week. I know it's been a little slow, but you know how the crypto market is. Sometimes it's slow, and then when it gets crazy, it gets really, really crazy. So just be ready for that next move up so that we can all make these profits. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. We're at 6,800. We're trying to break that $7,000 resistance level, right? Which on the break of that 7,000 subscriber resistance level should lead us up to that 10,000 subscriber psychological major resistance. Also, don't forget guys to smash that like button to help us out with that YouTube algorithm and drop a comment because that engagement helps us overall as a channel and a community to continue to push this forward, push the movement forward and continue to, to expand the message really, right? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for watching this and for being patient as I wasn't able to upload um, basically most of last week and on Monday. But we are back to your regular programming. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.